Let's talk about compasses. Scuba check! Let's talk about compasses. Compasses are the key ingredient to going from point A to point B. Compasses come in two types. Analog, which do not require batteries or recharging, and computer base. Unfortunately, not at this time do they have GPS. Okay, with that being stated, before we can talk about compasses, we must first understand the three basic components of a compass. Now, the best way is to use analog. Now, analog has a bezel. Okay, that's that circular device right here. It has numbers on it from 0 to 360. Helps with your navigation. It also has a lover line which is red and it all goes all the way down right here which is a, a scuba divers best window and then the third port portion of it is actually the guy in the center which points north this window right here is the one that we use it's a direction of travel which is why that's so important now, you can get a retractable. So, in other words, you can clip it on your BCD, pull it out when you need to. But again, you've got to hold it in direction. And our window, which has our lever line, as you can see, direction of travel. Because if I hold it like this, am I holding it level so that it can, the compass can spiral? Same time, if I'm having this on my wrist, I'm holding it on one hand. Am I really keeping it? And can I see the window in order to go where I am? Which is why it's so important. Now, at the same token, Garmin makes a digital. Yes, they do DAPS. Yes, it does work. Only at the surface. But it has a digital compass. Now, Aqualon makes the 770R. It has a digital compass as well. Okay. Another one, dear to my heart, Shearwater, great computer, but it also has a digital on my wrist. But again, all these compasses, I have to use them in the correct fashion. Otherwise they don't work because it's not enough for, if it's an analog or a digital, I need to be traveling in the right direction. So it's very important that I'm facing and going in the right direction for proper holding. Now, at the same token, you all are going, I got a console, because I don't want anything on my wrist. Great, I'm not knocking it. Okay. When I'm recreational diving, I have one of these guys. A little old school, three components, but the top one here is the uh, compass. Again, I have to hold it, both hands, in the direction I want to travel. I'm looking through the window here, my lever line going across again, do it. Now, they have upgraded, I have not. They got it where one of them's on the back side, but you still have the compass right here, okay? I still have to use the lever line here. I still have to hold it in front of me, just like this, to navigate where I want to go. Now, some of you are going, I've got digital. Of course. They do make a console with a digital uh, compass as well. But again, you still have to hold it like this. 
and navigate where you're going to go, looking through your console and direction you're out. Now, Bob has a heads up display. He is the only guy that does not require holding his hands up to figure out where he's going because his heads up display tells him that he's where he's traveling and where he's going. Those uh, are the three key holding techniques. Not a bad idea. So when you're next time you're navigating, just remember how you want to navigate and which one of these devices you're wearing or back up 